Hi everyone, Professor Baldwin here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your Pearson My Labs integrated access with your D2L course. First enter the D2L course that you want to set up the integrated access for. And our first step is to create a content module for that Pearson My Labs access. So go to content, then locate that add a module box and you want to click there and enter the name of your new module. I'm going to call mine My Labs Math. You'll hit return and that new module is created. If you have a bunch of other modules, it's going to automatically add that new module to the very bottom. Now, from this module, we need to create that link to the Pearson My Labs system. And to do this, we're going to click on this existing activities dropdown and then select external learning tools. Since our college uses Barnes & Noble for its course materials, we need to select Barnes & Noble course materials. Just click on the link and it's going to add that into our module. Now to finish the setup, we need to click on this Barnes & Noble's course materials link. Notice that when you're here, if you click the drop down arrow next to Barnes & Noble course materials, you can edit the title. I'm going to later on edit mine to just say My Labs Math, so it's less confusing to my students. Okay, under this Barnes & Noble portal, you're going to see the various courses and course materials that you have. You need to carefully scroll through and make sure that you're selecting the appropriate course materials for the course that you're currently linking. Once you've found that, you'll see this Launch Courseware. Click the Launch Courseware button. The very first time you click that Launch Courseware button, you should be prompted with Pearson's Terms of Service and License Agreement. You'll need to read through that and then select I Accept. You may also be prompted to link your D2L course and your Pearson account. To do that, you're going to sign into your Pearson account with your username and password. Then you should come to this create a course page, which looks very similar to what we had previously. You're either going to select this course at the very top, which is just a standard blank course with a book, or at the very bottom, you can enter a course ID for an existing course. I have an existing course that I'm going to copy, a starter shell. I'm going to search for that course. It populates at the bottom and then I'll select select. You'll fill out the rest of the information regarding this course to make it a live student course. So of course you want student use. You can change the course name. You'll edit your course dates. You can select if you want instructors to copy the course or not and you'll select create course. Now this next process can take a couple of hours for the course to be created. And then we'll go back and we'll check that My Labs Math Barnes & Noble course link. So I just received the email that my My Labs course has been created. So I'm gonna go back into content and then I'm gonna click that Barnes & Noble course materials link or whatever you've renamed it. It'll show me that same window where we can read the text, or we can launch the courseware. Click Launch Courseware and you'll be brought to that typical Pearson My Lab screen where you can enter your course, you can grade sync, everything that we saw previously. Now your students will also click that same link within content and they'll be brought to a very similar page, which is what they were used to seeing. Hope you found this video helpful.